AITA for reminding my parents that my stepsister ruined our family's future? I grew up in a big blended family where we all consider ourselves siblings and I consider my stepmom my mom. All of us kids are close except for one. My stepsister Liana. Fake name. My parents think it's just because she didn't grow up with the rest of us but that it's fine. And it's not. Yes. By the time she came to live with us. She was almost 18. But it's not because of that. It's because she cost the rest of us our futures. See. When she came to live with us. She had been, independently, homeschooled. She was said to be very smart. But testing revealed that she only had about a ninth grade education and no transferable credits. Neither our school or the public school were willing to place her above ninth grade. Since she was only about a month from turning 18. This would mean she would be in high school until her 21st birthday and would more likely than not have to drop out anyway. The only other option was to have her get a GED. They were devastated, especially because she had an offer from family friends to get her into and through college if she did a specific program that she did have advanced education in. If she didn't graduate that year, they would question how bad it was and likely rescind the offer. The only other option was for her to get a GED, which would force the family friend to rescind the offer even if they still wanted to help because she could never get accepted with a GED. My parents worried over this until someone they knew who was the admin of another private school offered to help out. They offered to enroll her as a senior and she could spend the year catching up provided they saw it in their hearts to give a donation. Of course, 100k later, she graduated from an accredited high school and moved on to college. My family is just normal middle class. So paying that meant that the rest of us had to take out massive student loans. And my youngest siblings even had to switch to public school. My older brother got some help before this. But there wasn't a dime for the rest of us. My parents justify it by saying that they had to do it because it was their job to give all of their kids as close to an equal start to their lives as possible. And this was the only option to do that for her. My mom asked why we all have strained relationships with Liana. And it finally came out that truthfully, we resent her for the huge financial load on us and the entire family that she caused. It's been 10 years and she's never even tried to apologize or make amends. And it's grating. Now my father says that mom has fallen into a depression because nobody loves Liana but her, Anne. That we weren't a family despite everything she's ever done. We are a family, just not with Liana. Are we really in the wrong? I don't believe a word of this. It's just too bizarre. So Liana mysteriously appeared as age 18 with this inadequate education but a shadowy, family friend, who somehow could guarantee her way into and through college provided she graduated in time. And then a very dubious private school came into the picture offering help for $100,000. Which middle class families don't keep in their back pockets. And somehow your parents decided that free college for one kid was worth that. Leaving all the rest with nothing? That not only makes no financial sense it makes no common sense and would require at least two unfathomably crooked educational institutions to be conveniently placed. Quote, my youngest siblings even had to switch to public school. Oh, boo hoo. I went to public school and got a scholarship to college and I know plenty of people who decided in colleges that would saddle them with small loans only. I don't think any of this ever happened. Your parents would be massive a-holes if it did, and also incredibly stupid. Eh. I think your anger is misplaced. And you and your siblings should be mad at your parents. Not your sister. Yeah, your sister was in a bad spot. But as far as we're aware, Liana didn't ask. Beg or expect to have to have $100,000 spent on her to get her a high school degree. 
I don't know what Liana's life looked like before she came to live with y'all. And maybe there was some abuse or trauma there. Or just the lack of a proper education. Which I doubt was up to Liana. It's your parents who wanted to keep on her this specific track of their getting her into college on a specific timetable. And they had to know what spending this money would do to the rest of you. And they still chose it. That's on them, not Liana. Gentle YTA for holding something against your sister that wasn't her fault. YTA. I have no idea how old you were when Liana showed up. But unless your parents gave you a detailed history of where she was and what she had been through the last 18 years, she may have had a lot more going on than you realize. You also said you're a normal middle-class family but that your youngest siblings had to switch to public school. If they were attending private school their tuition would likely cost more over the course of their primary schooling than Liana's did. No? It doesn't sound like Liana asked for this, or purposely held herself back at a ninth grade level. If you love your stepmom like a mom, go talk with her like she's your mom. YTA I kept waiting for the point in the story, where Liana did something terrible to you and your siblings to make you hate her. That point never came. Someone clearly did Liana very wrong by homeschooling her rather than sending her to a real school. And it's really sad that your parents had to stump up so much money to rectify this damage. You said she graduated and moved on to college so clearly she didn't piss away the money your parents spent on her. I can understand how it feels unfair that this money was spent on her and you didn't get it. But realistically all that it did was get her to the same place that you got anyway without it. That is a high school diploma. They didn't pay for her college. Finally, it doesn't sound like your future has been destroyed because you went to college too and if you really had massive loans, then your small share of that hundred thousand would have barely made a dent. Your resentment dripped from your post and is entirely misplaced. Grow up. One point I'd make is that Op says that family, friends were going to pay for Liana's college education. This would mean that 100k was spent to get Liana up to speed in time for this benefit. Does this mean Liana now has no student loans? This is not Liana's fault. But if she has come through education with no debit while the others all had to cover their own education fully then it could definitely create a rift between the kids. It's not Liana's fault she was homeschooled and so poorly at that. Your siblings had to switch to public school? Oh, the humanity. I don't understand what you're saying about taking students' loans you mean for college. $100,000 divided by 4 is $25,000 each. That wouldn't have paid for even one year if you're in the USA. YTA. You have a hate on for Liana that isn't justified. What future do you speak of? Are you guys getting college educations? Sounds like it. Are you applying that education to get jobs and start careers? If so, I don't see what the problem is. Except you sound like you all felt entitled to going to private schools debt free. If your family is middle class, you weren't all going to private schools and would have had to take out loans regardless. What exactly is the stigma against a GED? A high score on mine actually not only got me into a highly rated private university, it also got me a partial scholarship. Yes, I got the highest score in the state that year, and perfect scores on some of the modules. But the point is that colleges don't look down their lorgnettes at GEDs. It's a diploma like any other. Especially when homeschooled. Because it proves competence in all the main subjects. So I really don't get that part at all. Would any of the teachers here please help with this? So your parents neglected Liana's education to the extent that she was severely behind in school. And then they had to buy their way out of the situation? This is not Liana's fault. 
she was a victim of your parents' educational neglect. It's horrible that she has then had to suffer being rejected by her siblings too. YTA. That's not your stepsister's fault. Who was responsible for maintaining her homeschooling? The parents. Who was responsible for choosing to spend the money? The parents. Who was responsible for all of these choices? The parents. This isn't on your stepsister. This is on all of the adults surrounding her. So, what was Liana's big offense, so bad you refused to give her a chance? YTA. Liana is as a child who was failed. You act like her situation is her fault. When it's not, your parents chose to pay that money. And that acquaintance with the private school took advantage of them. He's the true AH here. But your stepsister did nothing to do. You're blaming her for things she didn't even have control over and choices she didn't make. You're supposedly an adult. Try acting like one. YTA. You're a tip-top a-hole. What, exactly, is she supposed to apologize for? Not getting a good homeschool education while she was a child? That your parents, the adults in this situation, got scammed by a private school? A fake. You lot distancing yourselves from Liana is the best thing that ever happened to her. YTA. Public school. The horror. No one is costing anyone their futures. You are just acting like an entitled brat. Pull yourself together. Yes. YTA. Liana deserved a real education. Kids don't choose to homeschool themselves. At some point a parent made a decision to homeschool and then did an inadequate job of it. Nowhere do I see anything that suggests Liana herself did anything to deserve an accusation of ruining anyone's future. YTA. This was not the fault of your sister. How many siblings are there? 100,000 divided amongst you siblings even let's say 4 with Lana is only 25,000 for each kid. You would still. I mean, YTA? Liana did nothing wrong. This is all on your parents. They, or at least your stepmom, decided to homeschool her and screw up her education. From where I'm sitting, they absolutely owed it to her to make it right and even if they didn't. They still made that decision to spend all the money on her and not the rest of you. You are blaming the wrong person. YTA I get it. It was a tough situation and felt unfair. But holding on to that resentment and reminding your parents about it won't change the past it's been 10 years. And your stepsister's choices were not entirely within her control at the time. It's okay to feel upset about the financial strain, but constantly bringing it up may only cause more pain for everyone. Instead, try finding ways to heal and build a more positive family dynamic moving forward. Holding on to anger won't make things better. YTA. Your sister did absolutely nothing to you. She needed help, and your parents helped her. YTA. Not that 100,000 would have put all of you through college in the first place but the people who made that decision are you parents. Be mad at them. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.